While it's possible to interact with blockchain and store your keys manually, most users will not elect to write down their 64-character private key by hand. Instead, we use software called a wallet, which takes care of the heavy lifting and leaves us to press buttons and type in the amount we want to send. Wallet software is extremely complicated, but for the sake of this discussion, there are four key types of wallets. Hot wallets, custodial wallets, cold wallets, and hardware wallets. We'll cover each of these in a bit more detail in a moment, but before we proceed, it may help to substitute the words key management service instead of wallet. Now let's walk through the list again. Hot wallets provide a convenient and simple way to access crypto and send transactions, but at the cost of security and privacy. Some examples of hot wallets include the Edge, BRD, or Jax mobile wallets, which can be downloaded from the Apple or Google Play Store. Hot wallets are not designed for long-term storage, so they should be used only for the crypto that you're planning to spend right away. It may help to think of adding money to a hot wallet as synonymous with withdrawing cash from an ATM for near spending in the future. Other hot wallets include web wallets like myetherwallet.com or bitcoin.com. Other online wallets like Coinbase are actually custodial services and you don't control your keys. While Coinbase and other custodial service providers advertise themselves as wallets, this is not exactly the correct word to use. In a custodial wallet, the service provider stores your keys for you and you never have any claim to your digital assets unless they transfer them to a key that you personally own. As a result, these services own your crypto. Remember, not your keys, not your crypto. You do not own anything which you do not personally control the keys for. If you hadn't guessed already, we do not recommend using custodial wallets. It's always safer to write down your keys yourself on a piece of paper. So, what should you do when you want to store your crypto with the maximum degree of security? Precisely that. If you're ever at the Institute HQ, please help yourself to a handy mnemonic storage card and write your key phrase right onto that. Put this card in a safe and you can be sure that no one else will ever be able to steal from that wallet. Some other options for cold storage include steel wallets, multi-signature wallets, which break keys into many locations, and finally hardware wallets. The Trezor Model T shown in this picture is an example of a hardware wallet which is a single purpose piece of technology used for storing cryptographic keys. These generally cost between $50 and $100 US and feature an LED screen which allows you to interact with them directly without actually transferring your keys to your personal devices. By storing keys on a single use piece of hardware, you can avoid many of the pitfalls of crypto and blockchain use and perhaps also preserve some amount of sanity with simplified user interfaces and support teams. Congrats, you're now up to speed on wallet technology. In the next lesson, we'll explore how these can be used by larger enterprises with more complicated needs.